guys good morning welcome to my vlog um today is saturday and today is my kids um in the house sports day you guys i'm so not interested in today i really don't want to go anywhere i prefer to lie down at home and sleep but these are one of the things that we just have to do as parents so that's why i'm going you guys know how I don't like sports. I've said this about I don't like sports. I never play sports. Everybody always told me, oh, you're tough. Go and play volleyball. Go and play basketball. Go and play this one. I am so not interested. Uh, I like sports that I can play on my own. I don't need to do it with anybody. So things like swimming, things like, um, or things that don't involve physical rough play, you know? So, and the weather is so hot. I didn't even do any makeup because you guys, I'm not even about to sweat. I just managed to wear these earrings. And I might soon remove it, like, and I just part my hair. I'm not going to wear any wig because the weather is really, really hot. And we're going to be doing this in the field with grasses. Everybody's going to be sweaty. Oh my god! I wish I can just stay at home and sleep. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to carry you guys along. Hopefully, we end up having fun. Especially the kids. I know the kids are going to have fun anyway. So that's the that's the main reason why you know I really have to go. Not like I even want, but I have to go so anyway how you guys doing happy weekend how did your week go how's your week been going how's your weekend going i hope you guys are all doing well i hope you guys are all having fun okay i'm sure most of you are going for oh one bear for this one that one or you're just chilling at home i envy you guys okay i envy you guys <laughs> hi ava Ooh, ooh, you look good you guys see what they 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 dress my daughter in <laughs> look at how they dress my daughter i think whoever is in whoever is in charge of their uniform i'm sure maybe parents were complaining or something they decided to start giving children oversized like what is this snake! Snake! there's no snake where do you see snake there's no snake job anyway so Cara, come and show us your oversized dress <laughs> So maybe maybe they gave them because maybe parents were complaining or something. But me, I buy my children one or two sizes bigger, but you know, not for things like this. This one is even like three or four sizes. I just go and buy my size and give my child, okay? And at the end of the day, this is only do once in a while, so I don't mind buying their correct size for things like this because I mean, it's only once they'll do in the house sports now until next year. I can still buy it again next year. Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> anyway so the event starts by eight o'clock and i think it's just to eight right now so we're going to be leaving now and i'll take you guys along so let's go eva Hi. go to your seat i like to sit on my seat yes good girl cora eva yes. see cora is sitting in her seat so I'll go to your seat okay it's, good girl it's nice and comfortable you say what I said it's nice and come with Oh, yes. <laughs> Hi, Ava. Hi, Ava. Oh, she's even trying to put herself. Oh, yeah, let me help you, okay? So guys we are at the venue now and they are not yet ready at all they are still preparing although parents are coming now Sha. this is 8 20 and they are still not ready like and they told us 8 a.m that we should be there by 8 a.m they kept insisting be there by 8 a.m parents should be there but are still setting up so at this at the end of the day what's not the point i hate this nigerian time thing like if you're going to start by 8 a.m you better tell me another thing people come late because you say 8 a.m you will start by 8 a.m why will i now come 8 a.m next time you put any event i will come 10 o'clock or one o'clock so that's <laughs> so that we'll know that we are all not ready <laughs> anyway yeah so let me just um let me go and sit down Sha. Nello is even here with her kids you guys know that our kids go to the same school and they're even in the same classes as in both our kids are in the, are in the same classes so 
um i'll probably just stay with her and just be gisting while i wait for the parents to finish setting up okay yeah but actually to be honest i don't want to leave the comfort of just my car ac like oh i don't want to leave this ac <laughs> anyway yeah so i'll see you guys later
so we are back. Ava. Wait. Cora, say hi. I'm just coming. So you guys, we had to leave early because I, I was tired. It was just past. Um, I think I left like to 12 so I know that from 12 o'clock the sun is going to come out in full force and to be honest I'm not ready to go and start receiving sun when my child is not um, uh, performing because Cora's class already did what they had to do Cora and Eva's class so <laughs> we're done okay we're done <laughs> anyway so I'm back now I went to the supermarket to get some things and we're back home now and yeah maybe I just gonna yeah, cook or something because everybody's hungry now so I'll see you guys inside what is it? What? Your body's itching? itching me. Yeah, I call the sun. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, go. Let me on the let me open the door. Uh oh, sorry. Don't worry, I'll wash your hair and you have your bath, okay? Even though I washed your hair two days ago. Well I won't wash your hair again. But you have your bath, okay? Hey guys, so if I'm going to drive with me, okay? I'm driving just with me. So I just told my husband that Oga, I'm tired. I cannot cook. I don't really have any. Let me put on this AC first. I told my husband that I don't have energy to cook anything. And to be honest, I am so, 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 so exhausted, you guys. Like, I don't know what's going on. I won't even say it's the activities I went for. But these past few days has been a bit, have been a bit stressful for me. I don't know. So, I told him I can't cook. He sent me money to go and get you know food from a fast food restaurant around me ideally he should have gone over but i mean i'm still dressed and i just came back so let me go but him i'm not even sure the way he's looking i'm not even sure he's ready to go anywhere okay you guys know this tweet that has been giving people headache where pastor deboye was saying that men should not marry women who, who cannot cook or something so i don't know why that i don't know why such tweets is to give people headache it's talking to you accept it if it's not talking to you then go I, as in, must you take everything anybody says? Like, I'm not to explain it. When someone comes online to give some kind of advice or whatever, especially when it's someone has, that clearly has a flock and you don't belong to his flock, you don't have to take his advice. You don't have to be vexing for him because what he's saying is true. If you're a kind of man that you want a woman that will be cooking for you, then do not marry a woman that cannot cook. It's, it's true. If you're a kind of woman that wants a man that, that will be cooking for you, then do not marry a man that cannot cook. It's as simple as A, B, C. I don't see why people are getting me. I just, I just walk up past it because it doesn't apply to me. So anyway, Tino tagged me in a tweet that was saying that <laughs> why are people fighting about uh, who will cook or who will not cook? That is like people don't know that in, in marriage, in marriage, cooking is actually not even the top 10 problems in a marriage so that is why you know people that are not yet married will be arguing about i'll marry a man that will cook i'll not marry a man that will cook or i will not cook when i get married i'll cook see when you get married i've not seen any couple that broke up because um, the wife could not cook or the husband could not cook or whatever or about who will cook i've not seen any couple that broke up that way except maybe all these um uneducated people i don't know but grown mature educated adults i've not seen anybody that broke up because they cannot cook there's much more issues in marriage than cooking or no cooking okay in fact in marriage i, I don't know i think all those things just fall in place if a man is is better at cooking he falls in place like as long as there's love and understanding whoever is better at doing anything just naturally you know takes over in that position except the man's kind of person that has all these chauvinistic um, tendencies or traditional mentality that a woman must must cook her hair aside cases like that it falls into place if the man is better cook he cooks if the woman is better cook she cooks i've seen um uh, contemporary couples we're calling contemporary couples now but i've seen young couples where the man is the one that does all the cooking all okay so that's not a big deal but there are so many issues too have you, have you finished talking about school fees have you finished paying school fees <laughs> they are worried about who who will cook and who will not cook yeah so so yeah at the end of the day my dear just um yeah i don't know this is like for me i do all the cooking in the house all the cooking except in situations like this where i know that me i am very very tired and i need to rest and because of that he gave me money to go and buy food nobody's angry <laughs> nobody's crying you know Thank thankfully Shad, i have a husband who doesn't really mind food like that like as long as there's good food to eat, he's okay. It's not a person that's very choosy or wants assorted this or assorted that. It's just he, he eats food. His food is just what my children eat, what my husband eats. There's no special orders in this house, okay? It's even me that when I first got married, then I was showing my culinary skills. I was always doing special this, special that. 
when I saw that this guy was not, he was, he was not impressed. He wasn't changing anything. Like, if you give him five, you don't give him five. Then I had to calm down and relax. And you know, no problem. I've gotten to where I'm going to, Joe. So you put me back on the road. Nobody should brush my bum bum. You should not brush my car bum bum. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, people need to just relax. When you see things like that, relax. Because at the end of the day, all these things fall into place. If you want a man that likes that, that can cook and doesn't care and doesn't want you to cook, then marry, marry a man like that, okay? If you're a man and you want a woman who, every time she's in the kitchen, every time she's, you know, you know, cooking one thing or the other, then marry a woman like that. There are women like that who naturally, there are women who naturally exist like that. You don't have to go and marry a woman who doesn't know how to cook and then start, start trying to force her to cook, okay? And don't go and marry a man who likes a woman who knows how to cook and then start telling him that you don't want to cook. I mean, it doesn't make sense at the end of the day. So, yeah, let me just go and get the food and I'll see you guys when I come back. But well, let me keep my camera first before somebody will break into my car now because of this tiny camera. So guys, I'm done buying now. I'm just leaving the place right now. I'll show you guys what I bought when I get out of this place. But this place, the parking space is just so tight. So to drive out is, is, is you know, it's a little bit tricky. So anyway, you guys are back. Look at what I bought. Let me just show you guys. I just bought uh, rice bucket of chicken drinks and i think this came as a combo okay so yeah this one came as a combo and the components in it will be enough for our whole family that's why i just went ahead with it okay anyway um this is just a laid back video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and yeah i'll see you guys this one i'll be wearing glasses this morning let me remove the glasses okay so yeah if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys on tuesday okay i'll see you guys on tuesday um i think i'll give i'll do a story time on tuesday will you guys like a story time i'm going to do a story time on tuesday something shocking happened to me yesterday and i'll give you guys it's something that has been a long time coming anyway so when it happened when it ended yesterday i was just like you see i'm i i, I said it <laughs> so anyway i'm going to um, do that video and post it on tuesday so yeah see you guys on tuesday bye